to listen. Oh, no, no. No, sorry. No, you, we're not allowed to introduce the video yet. I used to listen <laughs> to the fucking Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 soundtrack, like, on loop. On loop. All, just all the fucking time, but especially when I was writing stories in middle school. Oh. Mm, it helped with the role-playing Boy, juices. that's good. Oh, this is the music you were talking yes, it about? Is. Oh, it totally is. Okay, anyways, <laughs> hi, I'm Tony. My pronouns are they, them. Hi, Mal. My pronouns are also they, them. And welcome to this deep dive. In the deep. definitive explanation about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> now, I know everyone is doing a Kingdom Hearts retrospective or review or something but i want you to know dumb bullshit as as you just alluded mal this this is it this is all you'll need yes the definitive edition you'll listen to this and you'll go wow i totally know what aventus is Mm -hmm. and i'm totally okay with like toy monsters or i I, oh yeah like 10 years from now square enix is gonna re-release this video from (laughs) like their studio like and it's gonna be called like uh, the compilation like Kingdom Hearts, the story after all that shit. <laughs> colon. Uh, D- Peril and Pemberley. <laughs> colon. Jane Austen Mysteries. 65 minutes long of, I don't know, introspection. Okay. And so speaking of 65 minute long inspre- introspection, I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but let's alt tab over here. We are going to be chronologically going through this shit. Oh, Jesus. Now, I we're going to largely hit all the games, and we're going to do this mostly by going through this page called The Keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let's dig deep into The Keyhole. I've discovered recently that the adjective hole is bad. Yes. That is, it's it's very bad. If you say, and I discovered this while playing Delta Rune. If you play, say, The Dinner Hole, bad. <gasps> if you Oh. Is that a promotional image for Kingdom Hearts 3? It is. It's beautiful. It is, I think. Here, Look wait, at should, that should we fucking click on it? building. Yeah, let's click on it. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. yeah. Hold on. Let me uh get, let me let get me zoom in, in so we can see it in shitty resolution. No, well, well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see this in a second. <laughs> We're going to get to Kingdom Hearts 3. But let's first discuss our our relationship to Kingdom Hearts. Uh-huh. Uh, like our individual and together relationships. Well, they already know my relationship to the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack, but the games, you know, I was an obnoxious middle schooler once, mm-hmm. and this was one of my like favorite things aside from Invader Zim. Mm-hmm. So, and it, I still, it hits a lot I, of good points. Yeah, and I still have a lot of nostalgia for this dumb, stupid game series that I love with all of my heart. Yeah, it's it's kind of. I think a lot of it is the fact that, like, when you're edgy, like as a teenager in that oh, yeah. teenager edgy sort of way, it's like, oh, like all oh, these cool like like emo characters like oh, oh, cloud no, no. and emo anime characters. Anime, yes, specifically. you're right. Like oh, like cloud and like all oh, these like cool things. <gasps> oh, but also Woody's there. Oh, 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 is that? Mickey! Oh my god! Mulan! What if Goofy dies? Oh no! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I when I remember very specifically the reason I wanted a PS2 was to play the first Kingdom Hearts. I remember holding the back of a box in a Best Buy very distinctly going, Oh my god! That is Genie! And it's Final Fantasy! <laughs> Because yes. I, I just played probably Final Fantasy 4 and 6 around this time. Mm-hmm. And this this was enough. That, like, there was just something about throwing in the Disney that it... Anyways, I don't know if we need to explain the appeal of Kingdom Hearts. We don't. Because, they understand. Right. Yes. You're all, you're all just a bunch of trash, just like the rest of us. So we're, let's let's get going. Before oh, we get going, I'm so going. sorry. I Bless really you. need to point out how perfectly targeted this ad on the right is. <laughs> Multiple Sonic the Hedgehog cards to choose from. <laughs> oh my god! I could get a Sonic! <gasps> you know that Tails v- Visa really, really is just like tight. Like it, it's it's some nice. Mm, it, yes. It's because every time you go to spend money, all you he- you look at the card and all you hear is Sonic. <laughs> yeah, that's like the the sad <laughs> melody that my heart makes when I get rid of more money and soon to be your bank account. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Oh boy. So, all right. Kingdom Hearts Cross. Yeah, yeah. So I know y'all want us to talk about Sora, Mickey, Donald, no. Goofy. No. 
we're we're not gonna get to them for a bit. A here. while. Like the I know it's you just see two entries here, but I, my understanding, first of all, of Kingdom Hearts X is that it's critical to the rest of the plot. My understanding of Birth by Sleep is that it is critical to the rest of the plot. It happens before all that Sora bullshit. But it did very much come out way after Kingdom Hearts One. Yes, it did. So. Mal, what do you know about Kingdom Hearts X? You know... Because I know almost nothing. It's It sure is a game. <laughs> it begins in Daybreak Town. Uh -huh. Definitely not Twilight Town, which also isn't the Kingdom Hearts 2 town. Yeah. Or, or 1 town. This is like Traverse the fucking... Town. There we go. This is like the, sort of like the, uh, the like origination of like the Keyblade stuff and like Kingdom Hearts. Like this is where it all started. Right. Like it's the, it's the War of the Keyblades or some shit. Let me... No, this isn't the War of the Keyblades. Wait, it isn't? No, I don't think so. I thought it this It might is, be. I thought... That, yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, oh. Hanai the Gates in the Future in the Book of Prophecies that foretold the Keyblade War. Yeah, right? but th that hasn't happened yet. Oh my god, it's before the Keyblade War? I think war? the Keyblade War is what happens in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe it's the end. Okay, hold on. First, let's go to, Let's go look at a picture of Kingdom Hearts X, mm -hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Kingdom... Oh if my. only you were is, is in, this, in the text box. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a... Tony, you're so good at computers. I am good at computers, <laughs> aren't I? So, so Kingdom Hearts see? X is like some kind of like bullshit online. It was a browser game. Bra it was yeah, a it was a browser, browser game. game. Uh, Look at that! Is hilarious that it is critical to the plot. I also think it only came out in Japan. It did until it was. I think it was re like, mastered and re-released. Yes. Here at some point. Yes. Um, that is correct. Look at that. I understand. I look at this cute. and I do. Yes, I get the appeal. That uh -huh. looks great. Yeah, with that weird fucking upside down gothic castle. Yeah, that's that's just my shit right there. It's like the opposite of a Dracula castle. It went. Mm, yeah, kind of. It's got just as many parapets though. That's true. That's that you know that is true. Ten towers S and similar shit. Similar in that regard. Fuck. But like, look at look at this. Look at these oh, characters. They're so cute. Interestingly enough, that's more of like a Final Fantasy Tactics Advance Two art style. Which actually makes sense because it's Square Enix. Well, yeah, and I mean, if you look at a lot of the like concept and character art for any of these games, it's very much in this style. Right, right. I mean, it, you know, it, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's let's just see if we can hit some important plot points. Right. Okay. So there's this fucking like master who's like all mysterious, uh, and he has got all these like apprentices. Which I guess, and I think they all fail or something. Uh, but but one of them like passes everything on. <laughs> In fact, even here we get down to like I think these are the wait. He meets with the foretellers. Uh, wait, are the foretellers the apprentices? Uh, yes, I, <laughs> I think so. Yes, five of his six apprentices known as the Foretellers. <laughs> Their names are Envy, Gula, Ira, Ace, and Ava. What What a selection you, you of names. Uh, oh, wait, no. You, I you did say Gula. Say Gula. <laughs> I guess these are them. Th these, are, these are the assholes. You know, I've seen 3D footage of this remastered, actually, and it looks so much more interesting than Kingdom Hearts because I've been inundated with so much of Kingdom Hearts, which we're going to hit the point where... I, I'm gonna make a point at some point point that these games all look and um, sound the same. But yeah, I think Ava's the only one who like is able to carry the legacy or whatever, and is just like there to keep the light alive. Uh, and she eventually gets a like a, an apprentice of her own named Ventus, who then leads into the next oh. sort of. Chapter. Okay. Which which that's what Birth by Sleep is, correct? Yes. Yes, alright, so let's get into Birth by uh, Sleep. But yeah, this this the X Blade, which is what like the the keyblades are all made of, like shatters into many pieces. Yes. And okay. Right. Right. It's it's critical, right? The, okay. I I remember when I first learned about Birth by Sleep, I was like, X Blade? Uh huh. What? So let's 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 go get a let's go get a picture of Birth by Sleep, so uh -huh, we have a uh -huh, good uh -huh. idea of. What we're looking at birth yeah. by sleep. So this is it, right? It's it looks awfully similar in the regard of like you have 
protagonist guy. Who looks exactly like Sora. Woman, and then... Who looks vaguely like Kairi. And then other guy. Muscly guy who looks like a cross between Axel and someone else from Final Fantasy. Yeah, actually. Uh Yeah, wow. Um, And so it was was a, a PSP game? Was it... I think it was the original PSP. Yes, I believe it was a PSP game. Uh, and I was pissed when it came out because I was in like <laughs> fucking like 11th grade or something. And I was so excited that there was a new one that was in a fucking remake. And then it was yeah. on a console that I very much did not have and could not in any way afford. And shouldn't have gotten. And should, Yeah, and would, would, would have been bad to have purchased anyways. Right, because the PSP was unlike the Vita in that the Vita was, it's the perfect console. So, right. Anyways. Um, <laughs> that's, so that... God. Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, in Birth by Sleep, we're introduced so, to the main villain over the course of the game. Of the games. Right, which is right. Xehanort, or like, however the fuck you say his name. I, Xehanort. And we're gonna we're gonna see this guy all over the place. He's gonna look different every lot. time. Like yeah, like every damn time he's yeah. gonna look different. Yeah. But he will be some sort of like tall, vaguely beautiful, probably gray or white haired man. Here, here, let's God, let's I should really have a separate tab yeah, that you is really should. that is right next to this one. No. Yeah, you should have maybe like prepared for this or something it's, ridiculous it's, like that. It's fine. I can I can <laughs> do, oh, wait, which one was the <laughs> Fuck me <laughs> Okay. Perfect. Alright, how do I how do I type in Zay? Zehan. <laughs> like like yeah. I type in X E and then it's like So this is this fucking goblin dude is his like original form, right? And he's from, This is what he looked like. Right, and he's originally from the Destiny Islands, which is oh. kind of fucked up because yeah, that's where Sora is also from. Uh-huh. Uh look at his creepy eyes and grin and goatee. <gasps> Wait, there's one with him wearing sunglasses. No, uh Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Xehanort. You're so cool. He also looks like this. Well, no, his heartless looks like this. His whatever looks like that. His nobody. His nobody. Thank you. And that's that's Xehanort who becomes Ansem and Xemnas. And there's also a young Xehanort who shows up at some point too. All right. So okay, yeah. So let's get let's get birth by sleep done. Uh huh. Uh huh. And that. So my understanding, and like I'm just gonna kind of throw this out there, and you kind of correct me because I think you know that. I'm getting the impression yeah. you know this whole damn series better than I do. Uh-huh. Uh, you have the three the three assholes who are your protagonists, and uh-huh. you go to various Disney worlds. Um, Aqua, Terra, and um, Ventus, Ventus here, yeah. yeah. And you, I think in in Birth by Sleep, you can choose which one of the three you play as th- mm-hmm. for much of it. And I think you, that's true. Yeah, I think you see different parts of the story. Blah blah blah. So. Ventus is he's my understanding is that he's just a dude more or less but he's like the apprentice of uh, that previous person yeah he was uh, Ava's apprentice Ava's apprentice and then Ava got murdered in the Keyblade Ward because most everybody did most everyone got murdered and then Xehanort finds him and takes him as an apprentice yes Xehanort's oh. like hey I'm I'm smart and and I know how to things about the X Blade and blah 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 blah. Oh, yeah, and so I'm very powerful, and I can teach you how to use something. I don't know if he lies to them at first and is like I'm good, or if he's like submit to the power of the darkness. <laughs> and they're like, I wonder if this guy's evil. Well, whatever. I guess I need to go rescue like Daphne, not Daphne. What was what's Sleeping Beauty's name? <laughs> uh, Aurora. Aurora. Sorry, it's that she <laughs> looks like Daphne. She does look. Vaguely like Daphne. Wait, wait, which one's Daphne? Daphne. I'm talking Scooby Doo. Yeah, it's from Scooby Doo. Like they both have long hair and like typical like they, they, beauty standard frames. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So it's so they they do stuff. My understanding is that it basically they just go around and they slowly discover. Oh, maybe he's evil. And that's basically what happens over the whole damn course of the game, and then most of the plot happens at the end. Uh huh. Yeah. So like, uh, 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 fucking Xehanort is trying to turn like, uh, Aqua and Terra and Ventus like to the darkness or whatever, um, but Ventus is like too pure, so he refuses. <laughs> So Xehanor, like, takes him prisoner and does this fucking experiment that, like, extracts the darkness from his heart, who becomes some, like, fucking... Yeah, scroll up. Scroll scroll up. It's that dude. This thing. It's this fucking dark helmet Spider-Man. Yeah, it looks like a shitty cross between Spider-Man and Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Yes. (laughs) 
Um, and so Ventus is like left as like an empty shell or something. And so uh-huh. Xehanort like takes him back to Destiny Islands and just sort of leaves leaves him there. Oh, and that's important because isn't that, that's all related to how we get Sora eventually or something? Yeah, so like fucking uh, Aqua, Terra, and Ventus are all yeah. like the pre-forms of Riku, Wait, Kyrie, and Sora. They all are? All of them, I, thought, I believe. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong, in this game, doesn't Aqua briefly meet Kyrie? Like a young Kyrie? No, this happens like way before they're born. Oh, I think. okay. Or like for, right when they're born or something. For some I don't reason. know. But okay. so like the, the 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 little light that's left in Ventus is like attracted to the light in Sora's like newborn baby heart, and they like <laughs> fuse. Their hearts like fuse. And and, and so Sora is Ventus, but without his memories. Oh. And that's why they look exactly the same. I see. Also, something to keep in mind. This is a prequel. This was all bullshit after the first two games. Oh, yeah, 100%. And the next, like, three games, I, or two games, or, or something like that. So, okay, all right. So that, I'm, I'm caught up to speed. Uh, basic, I, I, I don't even think there's all that much to talk about other than that. Like, they, like, something about like, Terra turns, like, he's possessed, I think, at one point, and, like, uh... Like, uh, not Xemnas, fucking... Xehanort. Ar- Z- Xehanort. Fucking Xehanort, like, uses Terra to fight uh, the other two, and mm-hmm. then Aqua at one point has to fight both of them, and it's like, oh no. Aqua, for some reason, gets stuck in the place between, or I figure what it's called. It's basically a place that's where there's, like, not necessarily... It's not necessarily all dark. It's not really all light. It's like this, like, weird, like, like, um... Uh, purgatory sort of place uh-huh. where people just kind of end up it, it's like if you fucked up and and ended up in a weird ass dimension you're gonna end up at the place between and so for some reason she ends up there uh-huh and meanwhile what happens to tara at the end well of this? okay so like they 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 all get in a, in a fight because for the for the power of the X-Blade and the heart of the world or whatever. Uh, and they all lose. And, cause, <laughs> and the X, cause, so the X-Blade like explodes again and it sends like Terra, Ventus slash Xehanort and uh, Ventus to like different places. Like they just get like scattered. Right. Oh, and that's how, somewhere. that's how Aqua ends up at the place between or something like that. Um, are we not even no, there yet? No, 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 no. So, oh my so, God. So, Aqua is Here, like yes. like taking care of Ventus's like empty shell even though she doesn't have to because his heart is like with Sora or whatever. Okay. Um but she like leaves to find Terra because Terra's like what whatever is left of him is trapped in the realm of darkness which is the 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 in between space. Okay, all right. But it's outside of time and it's made from the darkness in other people's hearts. Oh, uh, and so okay. Aqua sacrifices herself there to save Terra, even though he still stays being the weird Terra Xehanort Zay- fusion. Yes, but Ooh. now no memories. Yes, and I'm reading here that this is at the point the point where Xehanort goes and meets this this other guy. This, this guy, this Ansem, total rando at this point. Ansem uh-huh. the Wise, a scientist. Xehanort becomes his apprentice. And this is where, like, a lot of... This was all backstory in Kingdom mm-hmm. Hearts 2, I think. Yeah. Where they, they talked about this stuff. Uh-huh. But... They, they take in all kinds of apprentices and do experiments on heart and darkness or whatever. And heart it, darkness. And one of my favorite things about experiments on the heart is they always have, like, this big, just awful-looking, like, toy it, it looks like a giant baby toy <laughs> and it's like we must experiment with the darkness of the heart and then they're shooting it into like a princess or something uh-huh, or uh-huh. there's like people arrayed like on crosses or it looks like they're like like being suspended in midair it's, it all looks like bullshit it's th- this guy calls himself a scientist okay my rant is over uh, but yeah so like um eventually like their experiments release a whole bunch of heartness heartless and that's where all the heartless come from because they turned like the darkness in people's hearts into like real things that they release everywhere oh yeah if you don't know what a heartless yeah yeah like, we yeah we gotta <laughs> we gotta yeah their basic form is these weird squiggly guys but the bosses oh, fuck me are all also, oh, hey. wow. <laughs> yeah, a heartless. Um, and they've got all kinds of fucking wacky designs, depending on the world that you're playing in. Yes, like um, they, they adapt. Because like, like these are the things that... 
I, it's it's they seek out hearts to become whole again or something yes. like that. Yes. Um. So after they do this, like Terra slash Xehanort, who I'm just gonna call Xehanort for for now. Yeah. Uh, um. Like they get in a fucking fight with Ansem, and so they win and banish Ansem, and now they have all of the like knowledge and equipment and stuff they need to like split into two separate beings <laughs> and so so ridiculous he creates a heartless from his own heart and that's ansem the seeker of okay, darkness so in this let's in the, like okay uh, yes oh sorry keep going ansem, Just keep going. who's like one of xanahort's like stand-in villains like in this, several of the games th- this guy yeah who's the final boss of kingdom hearts one uh-huh um and uh then the uh, of course every time you create a heartless you also create a nobody and then nobody is Zemnis. And what what is a nobody, Mal? Uh, a nobody is what is created oh, <laughs> from splitting a person's body so, okay. from a heartless what, what's the difference whatever, whatever. between a heartless and a nobody? Because a, does a nobody have a heart? No, I think it's kind of like <laughs> Do we need to look it up? You know, honestly, I don't even think they know really what a nobody is. That's... I don't think they know. I think they just needed another type of enemy they that was did. basically the same, because but it... different. Yes, in Kingdom Hearts 2, it was like, oh. oh, it's the body and soul of a strong-willed individual who has lost their heart. So not just anyone. Yes. These are like powerful people. Uh-huh. Or at least they have a strong will. Right. Right. Versus a heartless is... Just some the darkness in somebody's heart. Yes. Okay. And it seeks out hearts. Yes. Okay. So that it can become whole again. Okay. So if you smushed a heart into a heartless, that would become a person. If you smushed a heartless and a nobody together, that too would become a person. Yeah. I, yes. I think. Yes, because I think off. I think most of the time, like in the games, when you kill a heartless, they a heart kind of floats into the sky because I think it's like they they got one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so while Xehanort and uh, fucking Ansem were working together, they took all kinds of apprentices. And then when Ansem gets banished, Xehanort is like, oh, Ansem's fine. Uh, he wanted us to do this thing where we split into different people. And so he splits all of the apprentices into to Heartless and Nobodies. Oh my god. And those be- wait, 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 are wait, wait, the, wait. Those, those, oh. those are the people who uh, end up becoming most of Organization 13. Let's, let's take a look at or- Organization 13. Wow, this stuff is hot on Google right yeah, now. Yeah, it really is. Alright, so these, these assholes are Organization these motherfuckers. 13. Uh, um, so I think you may, you may notice that this looks a lot like Ventus. Uh-huh, and Sora. Um, and whatever the fucking... What's his name in Kingdom Hearts 2? Uh. In Twilight Town? Uh. I don't know. I can't remember his name ever. Uh, so, like, ten of these dudes are the, the result of splitting the apprentices apart. And then there's, like... Um, what's his fucking name? What, what, describe, what's his name? Describe him. What's the Sora motherfucker on the end? What's his name? What's this his guy? fucking name? Roxas? Roxas, thank you. Oh. That's what I was trying to that's oh, okay. what I was trying to okay. do. Okay. All right. So yeah, yeah. so um Roxas is not part of the those obviously, and Axel as well is not. It's, and then the fucking third is it the thirteenth or the fourteenth member, Zion, is also not um one of the original of the organization. I see. Isn't it something like Roxas is it was more or less taken in by the organization because they needed to monitor him, basically, because I he was related to Sora, so, related to Ventus. Right. Well, and if they kept like Sora apart or or whatever, or f- kept him from like being whole, you know, that's their Sora for some reason <laughs> is like their main competitor, right? Like the person that's going to cause them the most problems. Yeah. So if they. It, Keep him yeah. all separated. It's then like it's when fine. you run a pear store and then, oh, look, someone over there is selling fresh dragon fruit. It's like, well, shit, people want the hot new thing. Mm-hmm. So you got to kill the dragon fruit business. Right. Yeah. Like, k- 
killing the dragon fruit. Yes, you must business. you must stab it deep. <laughs> so that's okay. So that's pretty much birth by sleep. And I know that that was a lot, right? Yeah. But that's because I think more so than other games, birth by sleep just shoves a lot of plot yes. where there maybe where there was none. Right. Birth by sleep is just a giant plot band aid. You're exactly. That's a great description. Yes. That is a great description, Mel. Yes. That, okay. Um. So then we finally get to Kingdom Hearts One. And hopefully y'all know that story. Tony, you can take over and tell us that I, I story, can, can't but, you? I can, but, like, again, I don't even think there's that much to tell. There's not. Uh, 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 okay, so Kingdom Hearts 1, you, you, star, as, you star as Sora, you're this you're this kid. You, see this guy on the right? You're him, but younger. Mm-hmm. And you're just going around on Destiny Island, and you're talking to a bunch of Final Fantasy characters, and a younger me is going... <laughs> <laughs> Which is I, you know, like, that's Final Fantasy Ten guy. You, you see some Dork. melodramatic bullshit, and there's like the dark. What will you do when the dark emerges from your eye? And then like a big heartless like pops out of nowhere, and you're flying all over the place, and you're like, oh, but when you truly need to be not dark, you can have a big dog come and save you. His name's Goofy. <laughs> And that's pretty much, that's more or less what Kingdom Hearts 1 is. I mean, Goofy did not rescue Sora. Well, Goofy and Donald eventually rescue Sora. They don't. They team up with Sora. Okay. All right. Well, this is this is where the argument begins. They Sora travels to tra- Traverse Town through this door because all worlds, all these Disney worlds are connected. They... The, and for some reason, you ha- they have to like get rid of that connection, or I forget if, if in Kingdom Hearts when they need to reestablish that connection. Well, I it's think basically the heartless are invading all these worlds. Yeah, and, and it sucks. And, yeah, and well, I think uh, it's because they want like for some reason destroying all of these worlds and creating all of these heartless is the key to Kingdom Hearts to like getting to Kingdom Hearts. Right, right, because like. We'll talk a bit what King, about what Kingdom Hearts is in a second here. Uh-huh. But in this, so this is all those Heartless are more or less being directed by Ansem, right? Uh huh. There's like some Disney villains. Maleficent turns up, like like you know from Sleeping Beauty, and uh-huh. like she's pretty cool. And I I like Maleficent. I really like Maleficent. Um. So anyway, Sora goes off. Riku it turn like does the whole evil apprentice thing yeah. under like Maleficent and, and then, Ansem and Ansem right. And so you're you find Riku at several points and you go like Riku, why'd you suddenly turn evil? Like that sucks. And then Riku's like, I'm an edgy edge lord. Right. And he's then young, like, I need this power. And then young, Ma- I'm doing it for you. <laughs> and then young Mal is like, oh, my fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Kyrie's just. She's, I think, she just taken? gets fucking left behind for a while, and then she gets no, she gets taken at the beginning, and that's yeah. why Sora is going around because he needs to rescue his friends. He, he's yeah, he's like like we're we're friends, and like I, I just I I I like you, Kyrie. Oh, we're gonna talk about love and hearts. It's I need to give be- you the. Pop pool fruit I need, or whatever to show you that I, I, I want honestly, us to be together forever. I honestly thought you were going to say a pap smear. <laughs> I, mean, I need and to give you like, a pap smear, Kyrie. You've got to watch out for <laughs> cervical cancer. <laughs> I can't let anything good take good. Annual visits. Apart. Annual visits to your doctor, people. <laughs> uh, it, it, Mickey shows up because Mickey's working with Ansem yeah. for a long time now. Mickey's also in, in Birth by Sleep. And, and Mickey's like some kind of fucking all powerful, basically. Yeah, he's just like a badass in all of these games. Donald and Goofy which are his course. knights, which uh-huh. I hesitate to call them that based on how incompetent they are. <laughs> I know I love them so much. I love them too. But uh, you go to all these worlds, goofy shenanigans happens. Like that's a, one of my major problems with a lot of Kingdom Hearts is that like. The, all the Disney worlds are kind of backdrops and it's like you get little st- snippets of snor- story which is kind of fun mm-hmm. like you go through the story of whatever Disney movie but that's pretty much it and then mm-hmm. like you just leave the place and then the Final Fantasy story keeps going on mm-hmm. sorry the not Final Fantasy story right. keeps going on anyways Sora ends up at this castle it's an important castle it'll come up later and it's like oh turns out that Riku is helping assemble all the princesses of light princesses of heart right. excuse they me they have the pure hearts which will something something I think it, open it will Kingdom open hearts. Kingdom Hearts 
for some reason, Kyrie, it turns out, is one of those princesses along with the Disney princesses. Of course. And then Sora's like, oh, this sucks. And then at one point, I forget why or how, Sora is either killed or turned into uh, a heartless. Okay, okay, let me explain. <laughs> so, like... Kyrie and all the princesses of heart are like in this weird like suspended animation th chamber thing or whatever but uh for some reason Kyrie's heart has taken refuge inside of Sora and so in order for him to save Kyrie Sora has to like martyr himself on the keyblade Thereby releasing Kyrie's right. heart back to her body. Right, because we haven't, because the Keyblade it like unlocks the heart or something like that, yeah. or opens the heart. And so they wander around, like, it, I think it's, sorry, did you just say it's it, Sora is in her heart? No, no, no. Kyrie's heart is inside Sora. So yes. Sora martyrs himself. And then, to okay, to because let her body, Kyrie's her like out. a princess of heart, she's got some kind of special power that she uses to makes Sora better again. It's like a love metaphor. Like, oh, she'd given her heart to him so long ago. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Um, By the way, there's all there's a weird love triangle thing going on with Riku, Sora, and Kairi. And oh, it's bad. It's very weird. I mean, clearly Sora and Riku just need a bone, and, like, Kairi can just be cool because she's cool. I remember when I mentioned Mal's fan fictions? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, but yeah, after Sora like stabs himself to release Kyrie's heart or whatever, all of the princess's hearts are like temporarily released, which opens the door to Kingdom Hearts. You go kill so, Ansem so for some reason. So he like done reason. fucked up. And so, yeah, Sora and Riku like make amends or whatever. Cause Riku's like, no, Kyrie. I got betrayed by Ansem, no! And like, so they fight together to, like, kill kill him or whatever. Like, you're working with Melissa, Maleficent. Maleficent! And you're uh -huh. like, oh, no! I've been betrayed! Like, fucking... Like, look at her. Malefic Maleficent. Maleficent. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh no. Tony, oh, Tony, what are you showing us? Like, like, look at that! No, not that! All right, fine. Uh... Oh, Tony! Please. Please. Okay, Matt, you look at that! It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, okay, we, we should close this. We should close this one off. It's but, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, in order to shut the door, one person has to be on each side. So Riku's like, fuck it, I'll stay in the darkness Kingdom or whatever. Kingdom Hearts is a door, by the way. Kingdom Hearts is a door. So Riku stays in the darkness. Sora stays in the light. And then Sora's like, I'll find... Oh, uh, Kyrie drifts away on a on a light beach and ends up at uh, the place where they all grew up. And she, they're like, so I'll Tony, find you. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very touching. But um, what happens when you open Kingdom Hearts? Why do they want to open Kingdom Hearts? Uh, <laughs> Who fucking knows? I know. Probably it. something, something releasing all the darkness I, to control the world or something, something. Didn't they later retcon it to have something to do with the X-Blade or some shit? Yeah, because the Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts has been stuck in like darkness since the keyblade war or something okay unimportant so yeah, the next, yeah, yeah, yeah. next game kingdom hearts 2 no oh. wrong wrong well, so kingdom hearts 2 came out next chain of memories oh, chain came of... out next yes motherfucker and so not a lot of people played it some people played it i played it <laughs> i didn't play it so fucking no chain... i well, hold on hold on i, I really Sorry, want to emphasize ahead. I, so I booted up Kingdom Hearts 2 because I was like 16 or 17 or something at the time. I was, or, or I don't know. And I was like, wow, I'm so excited to play this Kingdom Hearts 2, the sequel to Kingdom Hearts 1. And then a bunch of bullshit was on the screen and I didn't understand any of it for hours. There's a two hour tutorial town? Town? Uh huh. And you play as a different character who I didn't know about? And they, they never really explain it. So mm -hmm. let's go to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Mal, tell us about it. So Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories is kind of like... Oh, so the gameplay itself is like 100% just like a copy of Kingdom Hearts 1. The only difference is like some like meta game stuff and some like meta plot stuff. That is not... Okay, that's the original Chain of Memories, which came out for the Game yeah, Boy Advance, yeah, you, but the you one that most the people have played is Re-Chain of Memories, which but keep going, yeah. is really, 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 really on the Kingdom Hearts. It, it's a card game the, system. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's stupid, it's dumb, but it's fun. No, it's not. Um, 
it takes it, it all takes place in this place called Castle Oblivion, which yeah. is I believe where Riku ended up, or it, Riku and Mickey yeah, Riku, traveled through at one point. Yeah, Riku's like in the basement, and Castle Oblivion is where like lost memories go. Which is why they it, they're they're traveling through basically Kingdom Hearts one again. Right, and so for some reason Sora loses his memories. And has to do everything again in order to get them back. And while he's doing that, Riku is also regaining his memories that he lost. Uh, and then we find out about Organization 13 and some of their business. Yeah, they're doing stuff in there. A couple of them get killed, kind of. No, but not really. they just get their butts kicked. They come yeah, back later. Yeah, sure. They come back later. And <sighs> Sora's doing stuff. So what, basically... Nothing important happens nothing, other nothing other really than the ending, happens. as per usual, right? Right. Like in the it, in the end, it's something like Sora lost all of his memories or something like that, and he needs to be fixed or mm -hmm. something. Like not like a cat, but he needs to be fixed to like put piece back together. And mm -hmm. so he's put into this like egg, like uh. Right. Okay. Well. So. So what? Ha like I think mm, the reason why a lot of this has to happen is like. Yes. Yeah, he gets he gets put in this weird egg thing. Uh, I think the reason why most of this stuff happens is because Kyrie like fixes him, but she can't really fix him only temporarily. So in because order he to become into a heartless, right? So in order to become like a real person again, he has to get his memories back. But then he has to get oh, and he's got his heart back, but he still has to get his like. <laughs> body and soul back this series is the worst it's so stupid uh so he has to get put in this like weird egg so that he can in kingdom hearts 2 get like have it, oh, do, do y'all remember ansem ansem and this care this ai but who's not an ai who's an ai Ky oh no sorry no Kyrie's nobody nominate nominate and Ansem, yeah they they're these two people and they're rebuilding sora because something something he's the hope for all whatever uh-huh and that's that's more or less what chain of memories is right that's i don't i don't think there is much more than that mm -hmm. so we're, we're we're done with chain of memories yeah and we're believe it or not we're done with the the part one of this i get i didn't think this was gonna be a two-parter <laughs> but fuck it this is a two-part wow so thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button i don't i uh we have a patreon uh, it's in the end part of the video <laughs> description <laughs> i know look at look at the shit oh my god oh my okay bye